I want you to tell me what the three of these games have in common, okay? You world, Canyon Capers, Overwatch. I'll give you five seconds to answer. Nope, never mind, you're already wrong. It's that none of them should have ever been allowed to be published. I don't know what goblin Valve has smashed into their Steamworks software that allows half of these games to go through review, but God, does that little rat boy need to be punished. No! Get back in there, you don't get outside time! Back! It seems as though, as long as you slap a character controller, a menu, and pay Steam's $100 fee, they'll basically allow anything onto their site. And I mean, anything. Hey, I made this game. Oh nice, uh, wh what is it? You, uh, you, you put your finger in dogs. You, you put your f what, what the fuck is wrong with, like, you're a disgusting human being. What kind of fucking monster thinks of something like that? You degenerate, disgusting piece of- Oh, wait, did you pay the hundred dollar fee? Yeah. Oh, then I don't give a shit. Look, your, your game's on the Steam page. And me being a dumbass with a dead YouTube channel and mediocre game development skills, had to beg the question. Ever since I made that video where I played some of the worst reviewed indie games, I have been racking my brain trying to find out how some of these things actually are allowed to be put on Steam. So I put on my investigator cap and did some digging. Initially, I thought this was an automated process, which would explain how some of these irradiated babies of video games could be allowed to be published. Papa. What the fuck? But that's that was just, just a theory. theory. An unfunny YouTuber theory. So I decided to open my own Steam Direct publishing account. This is the medium that every single person developing on Steam has to go through, from Bungie and Activision to video game Donkey and Danny. And at a cursory glance, there is really not a single thing laying out any extreme guidelines for what you can and can't publish on the site. There's obviously the boilerplate, hey, um, I know eventually someone's gonna try and like be a Nazi, so this is here so you can't sue us, kind of thing. But aside from that, the only thing they really seem to care about is getting your money before absolutely anything happens. They mention this payment or fee probably 20 to 30 times throughout just this first page. And aside from that, I found out that each and every single game is manually reviewed by a real person, which in hindsight is really fucking funny. And now that we know exactly what we're gonna need to publish on Steam, let's start making our shitty game. Unity, as Two Clicks Phillips so lovingly put it, is good enough for bad games. And now that I know whatever I make is going to be manually reviewed and playtested by a real human being, I want that beautiful little square to be the first thing they see when they launch this. Because remember, this is not a video about how to get a game published on Steam, this is a video about what you can get published on Steam. So I launched Unity and made a new project with a title that befitted the game. Now, I want it to be the douchiest, laziest, most incorrigible game developer that ever existed. So I tried to remake the atmosphere where half of these time sinks were developed. So I went into the basement, closed all my blinds, turned off all the lights, put on my favorite VTuber on my second monitor, and turned on my Naruto Kakashi light. Then I just started stealing code. <laughs> the sad part is, besides the VTuber, those were all just things I had on hand in my bedroom. Initially, I thought I would just ask ChatGPT to do all the programming for me, because that seemed the most immoral. But unfortunately, this is as far as the ChatGPT character controller got me. If this game was quadriplegic simulator, then this would have worked perfectly, but Unfortunately, I want my character to be able to move. That was a really fucked up joke. Jesus Christ, did I keep that in? Anyway, we're back to the industry standard of copy and pasting from GitHub. And within one minute, we have our character walking around the island. Also, I made this island in Blender, but I forgot to mention that earlier in the script, so I'm saying it now. Haha, -ha, I really can just write anything right now and future me has to say it. That's so funny. My balls hurt. Haha, <laughs> I have a small penis. I'm, I'm really funny. And like any good game developer, I went to the asset store and added any and all free models I thought I could use. Then I added some post-processing in this cool little skybox, and just like that, my game looks like every other stylized indie game to ever be made on Unity. God, I, I can't wait for all the comments to be like, 
Woe is widowy naked Jakey if he did Danny video game. Bro is like Drew Gooden if he made video game. Shut the fuck up. I get it. I have a green screen and I talk about dick and balls. Gr move on. All that aside, I thought it was probably time to actually add some interactability to our game. Because that's apparently the whole point of a video game. And my general idea was that I wanted to make the game playable, but make sure there wasn't really anything to actually do. So I came up with the idea of a farm. And no, I'm not going to elaborate further than that. So I grabbed this low poly animal pack, added them to the scene, and made a prompt that pops up when you're close, and added a script that plays an audio cue when you press E on them. And now that I have that, I have to add some sound effects. But I think it'd be way funnier if I did them myself. And now you may be saying, Eli, how do you plan on making a ton of different sound effects for a bunch of different animals? Well, I kind of freeballed it. So this is for the cow, um, oh god, what do I say, um, uh, I'm gonna fuck you silly. <laughs> so once that was done, I threw it in the game, and this was the summation of all my work. I'm gonna fuck you silly. <laughs> I did some extra scene work, staged all my assets, and, wow, it is really not that hard to make a good looking game if you just steal everything. With the scene all set up, I finally just had to make a main menu, and I didn't want to put in any actual effort, so I followed this tutorial that made a main menu in five minutes, and, you know, it worked. And with some personal touches and finalization of details, we built and ran Meet the Animals. Now, you'll probably notice I didn't add any of the admittedly I'm graphic language silly. in the promotional cut on Steam, and that's because I think it would be way funnier to see this pretty stylized location with cute animals, and then you walk up to a sheep and realizing it's asking you to fuck it. I... I still have the humor of a 7th grader. I get it. Now, this may be breaking rule 7 of the Steam Direct rules, where you can't intentionally shock or disturb players. I'm genuinely not sure how much of this I'm allowed to show, because they made me sign an actual fucking NDA, like this is some top secret organization. Do you promise not to tell a single fucking soul what you saw today, lest we have to put a bullet through your goddamn head? Are you talking about the website where I just uploaded all of the images from my store page? Yeah, what else would we be hiding? After that, I had to decode the absolute fucking puzzle that is uploading your game to the Steam Pipe. I don't even know what I did, or how I did it, so I'm not even gonna try and explain what the fuck is going on here. Once that's over, the website just magically updates and knows exactly what files you uploaded. And that was crazy to me for about 30 seconds until I realized this was an $8 billion tech company with the largest game publisher site in the world and then it was less cool. Like, I sound kind of dumb saying it, but I half expected there to just be like a big upload button that you drag and drop the game files onto. But hey, thanks to this, the IRS now has another tax document they can use to imprison me. I, I'm 19 and I don't know how taxes work and I don't know how to file them and I genuinely need help. Okay, update over. I will continue to write this script once the process is done. Why did I write that? I'm recording it all after the script is so, unfortunately, it looks like we came up to a bit of a snag during the action. Okay, all you have to do is not look away from the camera in the middle of your sentence, okay? You got this. For a viewing process. Fuck! It seems as though whoever reviewed my store page didn't love the initial description of my game and wanted me to be more specific about the actual features inside the gameplay. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of features in the gameplay. So I kinda just bullshitted a bunch of artsy sounding stuff to see if that would get me by. And yet again, they denied my store page because the about me section was not descriptive enough. I think I'm actually just gonna have to resort to making up random bullshit. I'm gonna try my best to kinda just copy exactly what this other shit indie game did because if they can get published, I can get published. And it seems like the best way to go about that is adding this key features section, because apparently Steam wants players to know what's in the game before they spend their money on it, which is fucking ridiculous. Now, I want to say there are easter eggs in the game, because it looks good in the description, but I didn't actually add any easter eggs in the game, so I'm just gonna 
gonna go and do that real quick. So I added those dumb little Easter eggs and finished the key features section in the game description. I also decided to make the game 99 cents. It was the cheapest I could make the game without actually making it free, but I felt as though if I made the game free, it would kind of allow Steam a lot more wiggle room with what they will publish and what they won't publish because people wouldn't be spending their money on it. So I made it paid, but as cheap as I could. And now all I have to do is wait another three days for them to review it. All right, they finally accepted my Steam page. Now let's actually, you know, prep for the release of the game. Oh, oh, um, never mind. The game failed the automatic build test. What the fuck does that mean? I guess I will wait an unspecified amount of time for someone to fix it. Okay, after 13 full days, they, they finally reviewed it only to tell me I forgot to check off the sexual content box. Two weeks. I waited two weeks for that. Could this entire process have only taken a couple days if I made an actual game with real features and mechanics? Yes. Would that have been a good YouTube video? Also, probably yes, but the sunk cost fallacy lives strong within me, so we're gonna keep pushing. This time, the Steam page got denied because I forgot to add the right builds to the packages whatever the fuck that means. So I'm going to be waiting yet another couple days, which means we have crossed the full month line. I've made two separate videos in the time it took for this game to be reviewed, and I am dreading having to edit this entire thing. But in better news, after a full month of waiting, 20 hours of work and a hundred dollar sank, Look who's games on Steam, motherfuckers. And guess who sold a whole $7 worth of units? This guy. Which means I made a whole negative $93 on this video. Not to flex on you guys, but I'm kind of built differently. This guy's a fucking douchebag. See in the big leagues, kiddo. I'm one of the cool game development YouTubers now. I kind of make games. <laughs> God, he's such a fucking dweeb. Aside from it being one of Steam's best-selling games of all time, I got dozens of messages asking for media collaborations. Most of them are Chinese guys trying to promote their Billy Billy accounts, but hey, any promotion is good promotion in my eyes. But that's about it for me, guys. Um, if there's any big updates regarding the game, I'll post them on Twitter and the YouTube social tab, which means you're going to have to follow me on Twitter and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Or don't, but... You watched. I don't know. I haven't trimmed down the recording yet. Uh, 13, 14 ish minutes. So you might as well. I'll keep making videos. You like it this much. All right. Have a good night, guys. I'm tired and I have to work after recording this. Fuck me. I forgot about that. Peace.